Welcome back, Cordlings, to more Ripper. Uh, let's head back to the police station. And back to the observation room. Dude's ass. I sold those fossils some lucid B. Not my fault they had blowouts. I mean, what are you making a big deal out of this for? It's not like they weren't ready for the big sleep. It's touching to see you feel so deeply. They say underneath the skin of every junkie runs the blood of a poet. I wouldn't know. I'm just a cop who loves his job. No performance now, mother. I'm in rehearsal. <laughs> Who is the culprit? Well, let's head to Magnati's Magnata's uh, office here. What is up with this f fucking drum music in the background? <laughs> it's like a six-year-old tapping on an aluminum drum. Change this shit up some, Jesus. Time to plant a bug. Magnata will never even notice the bug is there. Oh yeah, because he just stuck a completely different fucking label on his cigar that's all labeled a different way. Man, what's to notice? Hey, girl. She is happy as shit to see me. Metacog, hold on. Hey, Jake. Saw your story on the last murder. Look. You know I was just kidding about your squeeze croaking and all, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, God, man, it must have been awful. And I'll tell you something else. Magnata's been looking for you. I mean, I figured you should know, because he is not the kind of guy I would want looking for me. He isn't even the kind of guy I'd want to look at me. Is he here now? He just left. Coast is clear. Thanks, Viv. I appreciate it. Mm, not enough you don't, but you're welcome just the same. I'll take that shit right there.
All right, time to head to the wards. It's becoming to feel like a secondary home. Bless me. Ah! You can do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what this shit's all about. It's a cool emblem. Oh shit, it's a wet floor. We'll never get past a wet floor. Hello, Dr. Burton. What's a cyber surgeon need with an anatomy model? Well, that fits in there nicely. Got some bug in there. Damn Objects that scanned shit. into database. Salisbury. Fucking mug. I wonder what that means. Reminders for immediate future now that Ripper case has been dumped at my front door. Dr. Burton's prescription pad. Object scanned into database. A copy of Advanced Notional Modeling. Advanced Notional Modeling. Lillian Beck.
Professor Elbeck. I expect you in my office tomorrow with your work completed, Mr. Wendell. Good day, Mr. Wendell. Yes. Excuse me, Professor Beck. I'm a reporter for the Virtual Herald. You have a few minutes? That's how many I have exactly, a few. What can I do for you? Do you remember a student of yours named Claire Burton? The only student I ever encouraged to leave school. Why do you ask? You advised a student to leave school? Frankly, this place had nothing to offer her. It was my feeling that it could have even restricted her development. But I repeat, why do you ask? Well, she's, um, she's taking care of a friend of mine. And some of her colleagues think that her treatment is a bit unorthodox. <laughs> I have no doubt it is. She wouldn't look at things the way most surgeons do. It's what makes her so creative, so innovative. She seems a bit weird about it. Oh, well, she's quirky, all right. I certainly remember that about her. Some very unusual predilections indeed, but that's often a mark of genius. Unless Claire has changed drastically in the years since I've seen her, you have no need for concern. Well, thanks. Was a man named Joey Falconetti a student of yours? No, but I remember him well. He was an astonishing cyber surfer. But he was more interested in pretty assistance than in any genuine original thought. Did he have a, um, affiliation with Claire Burton? By affiliation, I assume you mean, did she have an affair with him? I couldn't say. She may well have found his air of danger sexually appealing, and she was certainly aggressive intellectually. I'm sure she went after him to challenge his skills, see if she could prove herself superior. Who knows? The Web Runners may even have been her idea. The what? The Web Runners. It was a gaming club of some sort. It was cutting edge. Claire and Falconetti were among the founding members. In fact, when she left school, Claire seemed to do little else. She virtually disappeared. Does this club still exist? I mean, where can I find them? Oh, they're like children with a secret clubhouse. All I know is that they post notice of their meetings on the bulletin board out in the hallway. They usually encode the information, however, hiding it amongst the flyers and announcements posted there. Something about arranging those flyers in the proper order will form a sentence revealing where and when the runners plan to meet. Great. Do you know anything about a policeman named Vince McNaughton? Claire used to mention him. Apparently he had quite a temper. Vince Magnata. So the location of the Webrunner's loft is hidden somewhere on this board. Alright, so we're looking for a numbered code here. Uh, that's got a long number. This has... Four. Fifty. Eighty-six. That's Fourteen. Oops.
Alright, um, so let's see here. See the word web here. I need to see the word runners here. That should be the first two. Red runners, the new address at. A former warehouse converted to a loft apartment. On Gramercy Street. Got it. I hope the web runners don't mind a visitor. Okay, so just spread them out nice and even. <laughs> and then we're going to punch in the code with those numbers. Up in them guts, web runner bitches. and I had Goldilocks by the throat. This won't take too long, honey. I just need to ask you a few questions. Make an appointment with my secretary. I'm gonna tell you what I've been going through lately. Hop along. I've been playing tag with a serial killer and ruining my shine by walking through his victim's guts. My girlfriend's in a coma, and the next time the Ripper kills, it could possibly be yours truly. So fuck your cartoons! Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fuck your cartoons. Yeah. Let's talk. A woman named Claire Burton used to be a runner. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. I mean, I don't know her. I know who she is or who she was. She was one of the first. Proto-runner. We care about our history, man. You've got to know where you've been to know where you're going. Wow. It's interesting. So, what do you know about her? I just know who she is. I've seen her pictures hanging on the walls in here. You can see them yourself. Do you know anything about a guy named Falconetti? Every runner's heard of the Falcon. He's a legend on heels. Before he was a runner, he fracked with the gang called Arrow 33. Falconetti was a 33. Was he part of this TRW thing? Story is, he masterminded it. Core overwrite. Took out the credit record of every adult on the East Coast. Cops never got him. They say he's still out there, waiting to strike again. I bet. Ever hear of Vince Magnata? Sounds familiar. You'd have to grab the runner's archive well to see if that guy means anything. Hmm. How can I access the runner's archive? Never actually been there myself. It's for senior runners only. I know the address. It's at Anachrony Station. You're on your own with the ice, though. It's a bitch. Okay. Thanks.
well, well. Look at these dweebs. Back to the newsroom, baby. Time to duck into a new well. And we just got the password we needed off that last picture I looked at it. Cyberspace. Web Runners Archive. Praise be to Loth. Fucking slider puzzle? Fuck my asshole! Oh yeah, I'm awesome! Fuck your slider puzzle, bitch! Think I'm gonna deal with that shit? You can go fuck your mother! Cyberspace traveler. Strengths include graphical user interface development in multi-dimensional hyperplanes and, and blow jobs too. Post arcade shooters. Handle Churchill, Games Author, Hostage Golf, Slipstream, and Hip Hop Mafia. Left web runners after marriage to Joey Falconetti ended in divorce 15 years ago, and the latter was sentenced to prison. Burton Falconetti marriage ceremony of note due to disruption by another web runner, Vincent Magnotta who claim to be in love with Burton. Oh, it's a love triangle. That's nice. Josie Dorsey, three-year member. An extraordinary hacker and decker, but one known not to flaunt her cyberspace talent in a pretentious fashion. Handle, Disraeli, Games Author, Alien Mothers, Virtual Twister, and Beach Party Cryonics. Graduate research thesis on the effects of extended decking brought her national acclaim in the cyberspace community. An enthusiastic gamer, she died under very mysterious circumstances. The Josie Dorset case is still unsolved to date. Josie Dorset left behind an ex-husband and a teenage daughter. Slut. Victor Estevez, five-year member. A highly skilled programmer, decker, and designer. Best known for his controversial past, followed by his personal religious conversion. Handle, Albert. Games author, Sim Team Runaway Exploitation. Headhunter, New Testament Interactive Volume 1. Sim Noah and Genesis, The Ultimate God Game. Reputed to be the web runner's programmer extraordinaire. Expert in low-level supercomputer programming. Author of several controversial underground games that continue to draw a large cult following. Following a personal religious conversion, Estevez became a senior programmer for Revelation Incorporated, where he is designing and writing a new line of religious interactive adventures. Sounds like a waste of fucking time. Joey Falconetti, also known as Falcon Eddie, eight-year member, 
founding father, an angel, an ace cracker, a master of cyberspace. Handle, Beaverbrook, Gaines author, collateral damage 2020, Humvee, Logic Bomb, and Dwarf Toss. Left runners 15 years ago when convicted of murder in the first degree. Conviction was overturned two years later when it was discovered that a police officer had falsified evidence leading to the conviction. The police officer suspected, but never convicted of mishandling the evidence, was Vincent Magnotta, a former web runner. No shit. Stephanie Jordan, five-year member, decker of modest ability, no significant strengths or specialties. Handle, Victoria, games author, trophy wife, and streptococcus. Most notable for the company she kept, Jordan engaged in lengthy multiplayer gaming sessions with Falcon Eddie, Magnon, and Burton. Played no role in the deadly events that tore the formidable trio apart. Left the runners due to unknown circumstances. Vincent Magnotta, eight-year member, Archangel, Ace Cracker, a master of cyberspace whose talents were exceeded only by Joey Falconetti. Handle, Sir Duke, Games Author, Designer Gene, Hebrew Vice, Coppadelphia, and Pistol Party. Betrayed runners credo that information shall be free by joining the data fascists at the Soho precinct of the United Police Forces. Explosive romantic triangle with members Claire Burton and Joey Falconetti culminated with Magnata's implicating Falconetti in a murder and the three of them leaving the web runners. Sam Mendler, four-year member, a decker of above-average ability. Strengths included interface design and applied gaming theory. Handle, Balfour, Games Author, Wolfinator, Horrorbusters, and President Satan. Mendler's game Wolfinator was a national bestseller. Known for his strong game design skill, Mendler followed up his smash hit with a highly controversial President Satan. Suddenly a target for an angry public and a hungry international media, Mendler left the web runners and retired from the gaming community. Years later, he opened a successful dry cleaning business in the Bowery. Renee Stein, two-year member, known more as a plot writer than a decker. Strength included character development, plot tree branching, and artificial personality construction. Handle, Salisbury. Games author, The Heat of Hate City and Bloodnet 3000. Talented writer, designer, and game scenario builder. Left the web runners to pursue a career as a hypertext novelist. She authored three acclaimed interactive novels before taking a position at Kinnock as a senior editor. Claire Lynn Burton, five-year member, gifted cyberspace traveler. Strengths include graphical user interface development in multi- Josie Dor- Victor Esther- Joey Falcon. Guess that's all of it. Cool. See you next video, folks. Thanks for watching. And fuck slider puzzles. <laughs>